Tracy here at Whirls and Swirls Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how to stitch casings into your canvas leaders right on the frame using your long arm machine. What this does is it allows us to use a dowel clamping system to load our backings and our quilt tops rather than using pins. The advantage to a dowel clamping system is it's super quick so you spend a lot less time loading and a lot more time quilting. All right, so all we need are a couple of things. You're going to need a ruler and a marking tool. I'm gonna to use my Creative Grids two and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler and my curing marker. This is a water soluble slash air erasable marker. It's two ended. So the purple side uh, disappears with air and time and the other side is a water soluble. If all you have is a regular pencil, Use a regular pencil, doesn't matter. We just need to mark our leaders, okay? You're also going to need either pins or the little, uh, little clips. And so the first thing we're gonna do is mark all our leaders. You need a mark from the edge of the leader in one and three quarter inches wide. Okay, so here's a cool tip to use whenever you're doing something like this or even when you're just cutting. You know, when you're cutting strips for your quilts and you're doing a thousand two inch strips or four inch strips or whatever. I've put a strip of bright green tape right along the one and three quarter inch mark. Now, every time I lift the ruler and I plop it back down, I'm not actually looking for that one and three quarter inch marking. I just line up the edge of the canvas with that green tape and I know that I'm in the right spot. We need to fold this over onto the line and we want to secure it somehow. So I'm going to use um, I have those those little binding clips from Clover. If you don't have these, don't worry about it. You can just simply use pins. If you don't have the pearl head pins, use the Clover pins. We just need something to hold on to this so that we're not trying to fold and stitch at the same time, okay? So whatever works for you is gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna fold it over now and I'll put a binding clip right on there like that. Okay, so now we're gonna stitch our first leader. I'm gonna drop my quilt top roller down, and when I bring it forward, now you can see that I can actually see my fold on this side. I'm gonna use the clamps from the sides of my long arm, because remember, I'm by myself, so I need some, I need some extra hands. <clears throat> so I'm gonna utilize these clamps. So I've got one down at that end, one at this end, and I want them as short as they'll go so that they hold on to my leader this way. Then I'm gonna use the other two because each end of the frame has uh, two sets of clamps, right? Or one set of two clamps. We've got two anyways. So this I'm going to wrap around here And I will find, I will find it's where it's tight. And I'm gonna grab a hold of this elastic and I'm going to stick a pin in there. And you do have to use a pin because a clamp will, it'll just slide with a clamp. So now I've got that pinned and that's holding on to that nice and tight, okay? I have two spare ones. So I'll put one down there and I'll put one down here. Technically, you really only need one, but why not use two? If you've got two, use two. I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna pull it tight. And I'm gonna put a pin in it. Now, the cool thing about putting the pin in it and having it like that is as I get to here, I can unclamp it and I'm just gonna slide it along that leveler bar and attach it to the next part of the 
um, the next part of the leader all the way across. And that's just holding on to the weight down there. What you do want to have on your machine, if you have one, is the uh, extended ruler base. What that's going to give you is a nice flat surface, a little bit wider, that's going to sort of hold the weight of the canvas for you and it takes a lot of the it takes a lot of the slack off and it just makes it easier. So we're going to start down here and I'm going to go the entire length of the frame. So we're going to start down at the left end from the front and as you can see the machine doesn't come all the way to the edge. So I'm going to drop my needle down and lift my bobbin thread up and I'm using quite bright thread hopefully so you can see it on the camera. And I'm going to start right here and I'm going to start in manual mode. So I'm going to turn the speed down on the machine and this enables me to hold on to my canvas and I'm going to move the canvas. Now I have my, um, I have my electronic channel locks engaged and I'm just going to move that out do a little bit of a lock stitch here and then bring it in just until I can get right to there again and then I'm going to turn my stitch regulator on. And now we're just going to move ourselves across. So I'm going to hold on to that. And this is the part where if you have a buddy and you have somebody who can be ahead of you holding on to your clamps then that's great. But if you don't, you've got all these extra helpers between the clamps and the pony clamps and I'm just going to go straight across and you want to try and make sure that you're stitching super close to that um, edge of that canvas leader. When I get to here, I'm just going to slide that along and let it hold down here. We're going to do the same thing. When we get to the end, we're going to get as far, as close as we can to that end, but it's going to get caught. So when we get to that point, we're going to go as far as we can go. I'm going to put my channel locks on. I'm going to take my stitch regulator off. And I'm just going to feed my fabric. Turn that off. I feed my fabric right to the end, making sure that I go back and forth a little bit to do that lock stitch to make sure they're nice and secure on the edges. There we go. You're going to bring your canvas underneath because we need to mark on this side. So I have to let my leader out a little bit just till it's comfortable. I'm going to let it all the way out just till it comes to the top of my quilt top roller so that I can rest it on there. So now this is going to sit and rest on here and I'm going to mark the top so that when we fold this over again we can see the edge of the canvas so that we know that we're actually stitching it all on and we're not guessing because it's folded the opposite way. Okay, so I'm going to mark that. So I'm going to bring it out and lay it down and I'm going from the edge of the key, edge of the leader, edge of the canvas, in. So same thing. I just lay my ruler down at the one and three quarter inch mark, rest that against the roller and it gives me something to, a hard surface to push on. Okay, so now we're going to do the pickup roller. Same thing as before. I'm going to drop my needle down, bring up my bobbin. I'm going to drop that down in there. I'm going to take my clamp off and put my machine in manual mode and then I'm going to feed my uh, canvas in.
just like that. When you need to readjust your fingers, And as soon as I'm able to, I'm gonna turn my stitch regulator back on and I'm gonna do the rest with my regulator on. Again, you wanna stay as close as you can to that edge. Thing when we get to this end, we're going to come as far as the machine will let us go. Take your stitch regulator off, decrease the speed, and we're just going to feed this in by itself. When I get to the end, I'm just going to go back and forth, make sure it's nice and locked, and there we go. That's it, that's all there is to it. So now we have our casings and our leaders and we are able to put in our dowels and get our clamps ready and load the quilt. And, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to load a quilt as well as how to set up your pantograph and more importantly, how to advance those pantographs. I'll see you next time, take care.